brought to you by Jakana Productions. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an Apple ID that you'll then be able to use to log into the iTunes Music Store and purchase music. An Apple ID really is not actually an email address that Apple uses to create a login for the various services that Apple offers. And in our case, we're just using it to um, access the iTunes Music Store. So let's create an Apple ID. Launch iTunes, then on the very top left, click on the iTunes Store link. Now you're going to go to the iTunes Store, but you have to log in to actually buy an iTunes gift card. And to have that, you need to have a login, which is an Apple ID. So on the left, you'll see a sign-in link. Click on the sign-in button, and a little window will pop up asking for your Apple ID and a password. Obviously, you don't have it, so you need to create this Apple ID. So click on the button that says Create Apple ID, and up will come a form where you need to add your details to create the Apple ID. Well, this little window comes up first um, and tells you the wonders of an Apple ID. So click the Continue button. Up comes this form. Click the terms. Uh, check the little check. Click the checkbox there for the terms and conditions. Sign your life away. Your firstborn. Your left. You know what. Click on Agree, and up will come this form that you need to fill out. Um, your email you're going to fill in, and this actually email address is going to be your Apple ID. It's kind of confusing, but an Apple ID is actually an email. Like I said for the past 20, 30 times. And then it needs a password, but it needs a secure password. So remember, whenever you create a password, never make the password a word that can be found in the dictionary. Always add numbers and letters in upper and lower case. And that is indeed what it requires of you when you create your Apple ID. The password needs to contain at least one uppercase letter. You're probably going to have lowercase letters as well. And it's going to need to contain a number. Another suggestion here is to use one of those secure password creation tools and programs like one password for the Mac and it will create a total randomized password that you'll then be able to retrieve using the one password program. Now they want to have these security questions. These are kind of a pain in the butt. You've probably used these for banking. I always answer them differently for every site that I go to and I record what I write down. Where do I record what I write down? Well, actually in one password and these other programs, there's a secure area where you can record, you can actually record your answers to these questions. And then everything in these um, one password like programs is then encrypted. Now my date of birth, this is something else. I never give them my real date of birth. Why? Because if the bad guys were ever somehow get into your account, they've got another piece of information um, they can use. Um, and I always give a false date of birth. Obviously, don't you don't want to make your date of birth too young because then you will not get in because you've got to be at least 18. So that's just a little tip that I use. Now you have to enter credit card details. Now, obviously in, in our case, we're going to buy an iTunes gift card. So we're going to enter credit card details. So now I need to edit your credit card information and you just have to do it because you're going to have to pay for this somehow. And I've done this here. And then bam, it's going to say um, a verification email has been sent to your account. And let's go and check that verification email. So now go to your email and patiently wait for an email that comes from Apple. And you'll see an email like this eventually. It took me about 5 or 10 minutes to get it. And you'll see a Verify Now link. So click on that Verify Now link. And it'll go to a web page where you will enter your brand spanking new Apple ID, which is actually an email address, like I've said 100 times during this tutorial. And your carefully chosen password that you chose in the sign up process and once you've done that come on click on the verify address button and it'll say well done your address is now verified and now you can go to return to the store it's going to now launch itunes and you'll see if you look in the upper left corner okay click the start shopping button in the upper left corner it'll see you're actually now logged in and you'll see a couple options when you click on your email address your apple id and you can actually go and buy stuff and shop till you drop right now.
you'd like to support this video, please click the first link you see below in the description and I'll receive a couple of pennies from your purchase.